The United States executed 20 inmates in 2016, the lowest number since 1991. It's the first time in over a decade that the U.S. hasn't been one of the top five executioners. So does that mean the U.S. is softening its stance on capital punishment? 49% of Americans support the death penalty for convicted murderers. That's the lowest number in the last 20 years. But a string of executions in Arkansas may suggest otherwise. The last time Arkansas executed an inmate was 2005, but the state planned to execute eight inmates alone in the month of April. So what is the reason for these back-to-back -back executions? States find it difficult to get midazolam, one of the drugs used in the three-step lethal injection process to execute inmates. Midazolam is a sedative used to treat anxiety. It's basically like Valium. After prisoners are given midazolam, they're injected with pancuronium bromide that paralyzes them and potassium chloride that stops their heart. Arkansas wanted to rush these executions before their current supply of midazolam expired. Most of the drugs that are used for executions are actually produced by companies based in Europe where there is a very strong opposition to death penalty. And so the issue that has come around for state governments here in the United States is that when they have sought to purchase those drugs for execution, the companies have refused to sell to them. In April, Arkansas ended up executing four of the eight inmates. So far, 19 states have abolished death penalty. Another 11 have not executed anyone on death row in more than 10 years. And I think that we're going to continue to see the trend of states moving away from the death penalty rather than the opposite. I think it's also worth noting fewer and fewer states are actually sentencing people to the death penalty. In 2016, 80% of the executions in the U.S. came from only two states, Texas and Georgia. Still, the U.S. remains the only Western country in the top 10 list of executioners.